and to fix her on earth to the full of love and devotion. Since you journey with us in the path of eternal life, do not be a stranger to the four pilgrims. Your chariot is willing to shelter. Turn your merciful gaze towards us. Draw us into your words. Shower us with your kindness. Lead us into the light and into love. Lead us ever further and higher into the splendors of heaven. Let nothing ever trouble our peace, nor make us leave the thought of God. But let each minute take us further into the depths of the essence of strength, until the day of our souls, for we will also be the light of divine union, for we all things and to bring about the truth. And my mouth will proclaim your praise. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord. And shout the joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth, and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hand. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the <coughs> Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not harden your hearts as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massah, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Covered all their sin, 
You averted all your rage. You calmed the heat of your anger. Revive us now, God, our helper. Put an end to your grievance against us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will your anger never cease? Will you not restore again our life? that your people may rejoice in you. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving hand. I will hear what the word God has to say, a voice that speaks of peace. Peace for his people and his friends, and those who turn to him in their hearts. His help is near for those who fear him, and his glory will dwell in our land. Mercy and faithfulness have met, justice and peace have embraced. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice look down from heaven. The Lord will make us prosper and our earth shall yield its fruit. Justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow his name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever, Amen. The glory which you have given me, I have given to them. Alleluia. He has helped his servant Israel. Alleluia. Turn your ear, O Lord, and give answer, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am faithful. Save the servant who trusts in you. You are my God, have mercy on me, Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. Give joy to your servant, O Lord, for to you I lift up my soul. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of love to all who call. Give heed, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my voice. In the day of distress I will call, and surely you will reply. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, nor work to compare with yours. All the nations shall come to adore you and glorify your name, O Lord. For you are great and do marvelous deeds, <coughs> you who alone are God. Show me, Lord, your way so that I may walk in your truth. Guide my heart to fear your name. I will praise you, Lord my God, with all my heart, and glorify your name forever. For your love to me has been great. You have saved me from the depths of the grave. The, the proud have risen against me. Ruthless men seek my life, to you they pay no heed. But you, God of mercy and compassion, slow to anger, O Lord. Abounding in love and truth, <coughs> turn and take pity on me. O oh, give your strength to your servant. And save your handmaid son. Show me a sign of your favor, 
that my foes may see to their shame, that you console me and give me your help. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. He has held his servant Israel. Hallelujah. become the great shepherd of the sheep by the blood of the eternal covenant. Alleluia. Blessed are you and praiseworthy, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and glorious forever is your name. For you are just in all you have done. All your deeds are faultless, all your ways right, and all your judgments proper. For we have sinned and transgressed by departing from you, and we have done every kind of evil. For your name's sake, do not deliver us up forever, or make void your covenant. Do not take away your mercy from us for the sake of Abraham, your beloved, Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your holy one, to whom you promised to multiply their offspring like the stars of heaven or the sand on the shore of the sea. For we are reduced, O Lord, beyond any other nation, brought low everywhere in the world this day. Because of our sins, we have in our day no prince, prophet, or leader, no holocaust, sacrifice, oblation, or incense. No place to offer first fruits to divine favor with you. But with contrite heart and humble spirit, let us be received as though it were holocausts of rams and bullocks or thousands of fat lambs. So let our sacrifice be in your presence today as we follow you unreservedly. For those who trust in you cannot be put to shame. And now we follow you with our whole heart. We fear you and we pray to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Jesus has become the great shepherd of the sheep by the blood of the eternal covenant. Alleluia. They sing a new song before the throne. Hallelujah. <clears throat> oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Oh, sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim his salvation day by day. Tell among the nations his glory. 
and his wonders among all the peoples. The Lord is great and worthy of praise, to be feared above all gods. The gods of the heathens are not. It was the Lord who made the heavens. It is our majesty and state and power and splendor in his holy place. Give the Lord, you families of peoples. Give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Bring an offering and enter his court. Worship the Lord in his temple. <coughs> o earth, tremble before him. Proclaim to the nations God is king. The world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder <coughs> Let the land and all it bears rejoice. All the trees of the wood shout for joy at the presence of the Lord. For he comes, he comes to rule the earth. With justice he will rule the world. He will judge the peoples with his Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. They sing a new song before the throne. Alleluia. God raised Jesus from the dead, and for many days thereafter, Jesus appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. These are his witnesses now before the people. We ourselves announce to you the good news that what God promised our fathers, he, he has fulfilled for us, their children, in raising up Jesus according to what is written in the second psalm, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come. 
come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and a shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Seek we zintro per me, our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. <clears throat> Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that celebrating the mysteries of the Lord's resurrection, <coughs> we may merit to receive the joy of our redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. O shining star of the church, who reflect the Father's light by revealing to us the mystery of the word, eternal fruit of his bosom, source of all life and of all truth. O beloved disciple of the Word made flesh, who at the Last Supper rested your head upon his heart, drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son and of the Savior of all. O beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus crucified, thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, 
are in the belly of beasts, be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by his blood, and by the ardor of the wounded heart of the Apocalypse, under the life-giving guidance of the Spirit of Paraclete, and Mary, Mother of Jesus, and our Mother. Regina Cheri, Letare, Alleluia. Qui aque meruisti portare, Alleluia. Resurrexit, sicur dixit, Alleluia. Ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia. Gaude letare Virgo Maria, Alleluia. Qui asurrexit Dominus Vere, Alleluia. Oremos, Deus qui per resurrectionem fidi tui, Domini nostri, Iesu Christi, mundum letificare dignatus est, presta quesumus, ut per eus genitricem Virgine Mariam, Perpetue capiamus gaudia vitae, per eum dem Christum Dominum nostru, 